What's up guys? We're back again today to be doing some work on the C34. Okay, uh, as I acquired two of these for Christmas for my kids, um, I wanted my daughter wants one in pink and my son wanted one in blue. I didn't order for two, one yellow, one blue, but of course somehow they sent me two yellow ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this one down. I'm not gonna show you all the boring details of how to paint and everything because I'm sure most of you know how to do that. I'm just gonna show you the transformation from yellow to blue. Okay, so let me get stuck in. So let's put him to the side. Now comes all the gory things. Let's try and get all the part, get all the windows out, all the doors off, interior out, so that we can get on with painting it blue. Be painting it this blue for my son. So let me get on with this and I'll show you guys the details afterwards. Okay, okay guys, as you can see. I've managed to take it all apart into pieces. I'm gonna go and scuff it with some Scott Bright, and then I will give it a, a plastic primer and move on to giving it blue and the pinks. And what else? Oh yeah, and then a bit of varnish over the top, guys. So I'm gonna go and get stuck in and I'll be back soon with the pink one to come put it together. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm back. This is what's the end product in pink. So this is my daughter's one. I gave it plastic primer guys, pink acrylic paint, and then an acrylic varnish over the top. It's come out looking okay. And there's that one. I'm gonna go and do some magic and it's just gonna puff back up. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, there you are. That's the end product when it's been painted pink. I've still got a lot of little detail like painting all the shackles, all the door hinges, just all the little bits. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you actually think this model Jeep looks good in pink. I would never have painted it pink. Oh, it's what my daughter wants, guys, so. She wants, you give. Okay, I'm gonna get it back onto its chassis, guys. Back with you guys. guys. It's back on its rolling chassis. Oh, let me know what you guys think. I am not putting the wing mirrors on yet. I will keep them off until I, well, until my daughter opens it on Christmas. The one thing I still wanna do is paint all the hinges and shackles. But besides that, I think it came out pretty good, guys. Anyway, let me crack on with the blue one, because I've still got lots of work to do. Okay guys, I finally got all the little bits mounted back to the body. So all I've got to do now is put it back on the rolling chassis. So I've got my chassis here. Let's get this. Okay guys, here we are. There's the finished product in pink. And there's the finished product in blue. I must say guys, I think they came out pretty sweet. I still want to paint the little shackles on top and stuff, but basically that's that's the end product guys. There's this one. I captured the light so you can see the color better. There you are guys, I hope you guys like that. 
I know I didn't show you guys the spray painting process, but like I say, guys, you've got to scuff all the plastic with Scotch Brite, then give it a nice plastic primer, and of course, your color you want, and then after that, a little touch of varnish just to make sure it doesn't come off as easily. But as you guys can see, it's completely transformed the two vehicles, and they both look amazing. Actually, I really do like the pink one. Okay, guys, I'm finally finished doing the two, as you guys can see, and they came out quite nice. So at least my son gets his blue one and my daughter gets a pink one for Christmas, guys. Just waiting for tires and some upgrades for them and throw them on as soon as it's time. Guys, I hope you're all enjoying this month because it's nothing like getting ready for Christmas, hey? I'll catch you guys on the next unboxing, wrenching, I don't know, whatever I do. Okay, guys, see you around.